So over the last year or two, I've used my 11 inch Chromebook. I've used my 13 inch MacBook Air and I've seen the 11 inch MacBook Air. And I've grown accustomed to them and I've adapted. However, I've now been using my new iMac for the last week and guess what? I've already mentioned this in a prior video but I want to reiterate it in case anybody missed. I don't see myself going back to a smaller screen for my next computer ever again. Now, this screen is a 21 and a half inch, okay? And I've often wondered, can I have the nice big 20 inch screen in a portable form factor? Well, a couple of companies have already tried. Um, there's the Acer R, I think it's the R9. Now this doesn't have a 20 inch screen, but I want you to take note of the way the monitor folds, okay? It's a lot more adjustable. A lot of people didn't like this because of the way it um, it reversed the trackpad. If you ask me, what they could have done is put a, a um, maybe extend the base along the lower lip here by about an inch and put in one of those little IBM ThinkPad-esque um, nubs to use as a secondary mouse. That way you can bring the monitor in closer, okay? Keeping in mind this design, Dell tried with a 20 inch laptop. I don't know what the heck this thing was called, but this was developed right around the time Vista was out. And HP created something similar called the Dragon. But the Dell stands out for its ability to actually physically raise the monitor up. Which, if you want a big screen, this is a quote-unquote desktop replacement kind of thing. Well, you know how it goes. I just think it would be a really neat little um, design. I'm surprised it didn't catch on, although I'm sure I know why it didn't, because Vista's battery life was horrible. To be honest, all of Vista was horrible until they got those, those uh, much-needed updates. But um, So the battery life and also the weight of this thing, I don't know what it must have weighed. It must have been as heavy as an elephant. But I think I've come up with an interesting design um, idea, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. This bottom portion, let me turn off the magnifier so people don't get dizzy. If you can see my magnifying glass, this bottom portion here, done away with, completely done away with. Okay? Um, basically, we stuff everything into the monitor. We come up with a way, and Apple's done this, they can, they've managed to make the board small enough so we know it can be done, but we managed to s put in, say, a MacBook, uh, not the MacBook Air, but the new uh, the new um, USB-C type MacBook, that board. If we put a board like that in a 20-inch screen, and we stick the ports on the side, um, we have a little opening up here, Let me just make sure I'm in the right place, yeah, right along here in the upper right for a mouse, upper left, right along the left hand side, say for a foldable keyboard. Now why is everything foldable? Like why 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 do it like that? Well, you know, why would you want a foldable keyboard? Well, the um the entire screen would be foldable. Everything would essentially there would be its their own little um own little compartment for things like batteries. Like I said, the main board could run up the middle here, but we got batteries ports, cooling, solid state disk, you know, in, in the same air, or um, boards and cooling, solid state disk, mouse and keyboard. And then along the top here, we, uh, we, um, we could probably have like a handle come out one of the sides. And you're probably thinking, well, that's the most ludicrous display the design I've ever heard of. Let's not forget, I think a couple years ago at CES, I think it was LG, that displayed the first usable, bendable display. And now we've got that in, in solid proof in the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. What I'm thinking is, expand upon that. 
expand upon that and um, the idea would be to fold the display into quarters. And I said each quarter of the display would have a central part of the computer and it could fold up into quadrants being one-fourth the size so it would be a lot more portable. You could stick it in a carry-on bag and yet when you get to the office or you get to your destination you unfold it and there in front of you lies a 20-inch computer. Now a lot of people have tried this with the all-in-one desktop. I know some people are going to say well they've already got that with the all-in-one desktop. A couple of compromises there. First of all, the all-in-one desktop is not necessarily meant to be a portable system. The portability strives from the idea of being able to carry it around the house, not necessarily on an airplane. Um, plus a lot of them with the exception I think of, the, of a new model by ASUS it was either a Seuss, Acer, or Lenovo, somebody managed to get the weight of one of those 20-inch all-in-one desktops down to 5 pounds, which is great for lugging it around the house, but again, because of the sheer screen size, you wouldn't want to take it on a plane with you. And a lot of people are saying, well, you know, um, it, you know, just get a 17-inch laptop. Those things are also bulky. With the idea in my head here, I'm picturing an, an um, sort of an origami style system that could take, like I said, take the 20 inch screen, divide it up into quadrants. We could probably make this thing more compact than a 17 inch system. Now the cabling would be a real challenge, but I would say that thanks to the flexible display technology, if we can get it to the point where we can fold the 20 inch display into quadrants and you know, have everything, like I told you, everything into quadrants meets in a central membrane. See where I'm going? I'd like to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.